Amber Alerts seeking information on missing kids can locate them and save lives. The alerts can warn the public of abductions. They also can be phony text messages creating confusion and eroding public confidence in the process. Andy Porter says in a story today, the hoaxes have popped up in areas of Oregon, like Bend in the Willamette Valley, and Washington officials fear they may spread to this area. Authorities suggest to avoid getting duped and passing on bad information that you verify the legitimacy of text message alerts by checking out media outlets or official internet websites. Is Freewater Elementary School destined for the wrecking ball? The controversial issue was scheduled to be addressed at a school board meeting Wednesday night, so watch for a follow-up report by Maria Gonzalez. A metal tree has sprouted in downtown Walla Walla, one with deep roots. Located at the front of Land Title Plaza, the artwork of Mike Hammond is composed of antique square nails from a Walla Walla building that burned and rebar from an old county bridge. Sheila Hagar has the story in today's UB. Steve Henderson's getting quite a name for himself. His oil landscapes and portraits are starting to win competitions and be noticed in the art world. The UB's Carrie Chicken profiles the rural Daytonian in today's cover story in our marquee section. Other picture-perfect displays by local artists are unveiled in Marquee today, in addition to tips on how to enjoy Friday's children-oriented version of Art Walk. Also, reviewer Rick Eskel goes batty for The Dark Knight, calling it an entertaining, terrific film. And here we go. This city deserves a better class of criminal. And that comes from a man who's liked all the Batman renditions as far back as Adam West's campy take in the 1960s TV series. You can catch Rick's review today of the new movie that eventually could sink the Titanic's record take of $600 million. Well, it won't be long until it's time to crack open those school books. Can you believe it? You will today when you read our Back to School special section with information on when kids are to report and what's in store for them as they head back to class. And you be present when we call roll tomorrow on another edition of The Daily Bite.